Okay, welcome to this edition of Footprints in American History. So you're probably wondering, what is the world's fastest manhole cover? I'm gonna to explain to you. Now, if I were to ask you what's the fastest object ever, ever launched, you're probably going to say Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, which have left the solar system. They're doing 36 to 38,000 miles per hour. However, that would not be the correct answer. We also had, back in 1976, it was called the Helios 2 spacecraft. It did gravitational assist. It went orbited the sun. And what happened was it reached 156,000 miles per hour. However, what I want to tell you about is a little bit more of a bizarre story. Now we gotta go back to the 1950s to understand this story. What they were doing was they were doing a lot of nuclear testing and somebody developed a conscience. They realized, okay, we're doing all this nuclear testing, but what's gonna happen though is it's possible that some of this radiation is gonna scatter over one of the populated areas. Not gonna be very good news. So they decided to do the testing underground. Now, when they did this, in this particular case, it was called, called Operation Plumbob. And what they did was they took a shaft and down 480 feet, 485 feet below the ground, that's where they put the bomb. Now, in the first case of this, they had a steel cap on top, and when they did it, it blew, and they had no idea where the cap went. So, they realized, okay, something's up. So they had to figure out, okay, they couldn't find the cap. They didn't know where it went. So they decided this time they were gonna try it again. They had concrete over the bomb, 485 feet down. And then they put this steel cap, same thing. It was four inches thick, four feet across, and it weighed two tons. So when this one kiloton bomb blew up, it vaporized the concrete over it shot up the shaft like a Roman candle and right through it. Except the second time around, they had a high-speed camera that was recording this. The camera, even as, as the speeds it did, only recorded one frame of the cap lifting off. Uh, because this video does not have any pictures like normally they do, I want to let you know that if you go to the end credits, you'll see plenty of sources that will tell you how to find You'll see pictures and you'll be able to learn a little bit more detail of the story. So as it went off, that was only one frame. So they did an estimate and realized that this steel cap had blown off at 125,000 miles per hour. Now, it only takes 25,000 miles per hour to escape the Earth's gravitational pull. And that's what happened in the case of Apollo. This manhole cover went six times that. So this kind of gives you an idea how fast it was. Now, a lot of people are believing, and it was it's a tremendous legend these days, that what happened was it was blown into space and it's going throughout there somewhere. No, it didn't. What they're saying is that it probably vaporized in the atmosphere because of all the atmospheric pressure. So even if it did make it to the upper atmosphere, it probably got up to space and then fell back down to Earth and rained down liquid metal onto the atmosphere. Either way, it did not happen. That's the belief. My name is Jeff Dial. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you really enjoyed this video, please like and share it. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you get the chance, click that ring, that little bell. And what that's going to do is that's going to let you know that you're going to get future videos. It'll give you notifications. And also, let us know in the comment section. What we will do is we'll thank you for that. And in the meantime, I just want to thank you for your time. Hope you have a wonderful day. Again, thank you for watching Footprints in American History.